Hey guys, I am back and I have a Nightcore E4K, 4400 lumens. This is the newest Nightcore, powered by a 21700 battery, 5000 milliamp that is included. Got full LEDs. The button is flush, so it's not sticking out whatsoever. You don't have to worry about accidentally pressing it. Press it once, it gives you the battery indication, letting you know what the battery's at. And then it comes with a case, a holster, a little battery adapter for 18650 battery, charging cable for the battery itself because the flashlight itself does not accept it to be recharged with the battery inside the flashlight. So the flashlight itself is not rechargeable, it's just the battery that is. Just so you guys know that for future reference. Comes with a clip and a little... Uh, Carabiner. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it comes with. Lanyard. You can put it on a carabiner. You can put it on uh, your pant, um, pant loop. You know this flashlight does not have uh, a hole or anything for a carabiner, so I would suggest they're probably thinking you're gonna tie it up around this, like this little last loop right before the um, the lid, the the tail cap. That's probably where they think that you're gonna tie it. Because there's nowhere else you could tie it. I don't think you, know, you could tie it around one of these, but I think the best one would be around that. And this one right there. So, but that's just me. I don't know about what you guys would do with it. I don't use uh, the um, the lanyards or anything like that. I just use the the pocket clip or the holster. So. So that is the box. Two hundred and eleven meters. So let's go over this. A little pamphlet. This one, the um, the modes to get to the modes is a little different on this. The the UI user interface is a little bit awkward on this one. It's not like the normal UI on most uh, night cores. This is a little bit different and we'll look at that in a minute. But I'm gonna let you read some of this. So 30 minutes, supposedly on turbo 4400 lumens, 
I would think more along the lines, uh, a lot less than that. Um, probably more like, depending on the area, the heat, so it doesn't hurt itself or, you know, hurt the user, so it doesn't get too hot. I think more along the lines of 5 to 10 minutes, depending. And if it's a really cool atmosphere, area, uh, if it's outside and it's winter, you might be able to get longer. But I would say more along the 5 minute line, um, depending on how hot it will get. Um, you, know, you know, it doesn't want to break itself and it definitely doesn't want to hurt the user. So um, it all depends on how hot it gets and how fast. If you could keep it cooler, it will last longer at 4,400 lumens. But definitely, I would not say it's definitely not 30 minutes. Maybe, you know, if it's, like, really cold out, maybe. Or like, 10 degrees, 15 degrees. But definitely not going to be 30 minutes. I could say that for sure. Alright, so... That is just operating instructions... On off, brightness levels. All right. So what this is for the UI is when the light is off, keep holding the power button after turning on the flashlight to cycle through the following brightness levels: ultra low, low, mid, high, turbo. Release to select the desired levels. This access this has mode memory. When act reactivated, the flashlight will automatically access the previous memorized brightness level. But the only thing that stinks, though, is when you want to change the level, you have to re-hold it again after you turn it back on. You have to re-hold it, hold the button, and it will cycle through again. And you pick, because you can't turn it on and automatically have it go to the next brightness level. It doesn't, it won't let you do that. And we will go through that in a minute. So... That's the only thing I don't like about this flashlight is the UI on this one is a little awkward compared to the other night quarters I have and have had. It doesn't, you know, work the same and I'll we'll go over that and I'll show you. Let's go over that UI really quick. Alright, so if you just press it, it just will flash, letting you know the battery life. What it is it? You have to see if you just hold it like that, and then if you hold it, it'll go to turbo. And you let go, and it'll be back to moonlight. So what it is, is you have to press it once. Press hold, and it'll cycle through. So that's the next brightness level. But the, the only thing that sucks, though, is you can't... It'll go only to turbo if you quick press it. See, it's turbo. So, and then you press it really quick, and it will turn back off. So what you have to do is to access the next mode is you have to turn it off and then so that's the next one that's the third one and then if you hold it again it will go to turbo so hold it again it goes to turbo you quick press it and it goes off so for you to access the mode up from that one the next UI that one. What you do is
So yeah, for you to, let's say I'm on the second mode, for me to you know, access the third mode, I have to turn it off, hold it, and then it will go to the next mode, as you just saw. So, alright, so let's say... So quick press it, press hold. Alright, so I am on low. Alright, so let's say if I want to go to the next mode, I have to turn it off. I have to completely turn it off, and then I have to hold, and then it'll go to the next mode. That's the second mode. And if I just hold it right now where it's at, it'll go to turbo. That's turbo. And if I quick press it, it's off. So it's a little bit a pain to, to use the, the UI on this if you were on the lower setting and it's good for like this moment, yada, 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 but you don't want turbo. You want the next setting up. You have to actually turn the flashlight off and then rehold the button for you to get back into, you know, go, cycling through the modes, the UI, the interface, and going to the next mode, to the next UI interface. Um, so I don't like that. I, I like that if you just, you know, turn it on, you know, just turn it on, and you can just press it and go through the different modes. You can't do that with this. You have to actually completely turn it off, so, yeah, so, that's the only thing I don't like about this, is the UI on it. But other than that, I love this flashlight. It's a good flashlight. I haven't had any issues with it yet. Um, but, again, that's my only, uh, my only downside on this flashlight for me. But everything else I really like on it. Um, I like that it's got the 21700 battery. 4400 lumens um, it gets really hot like I, I just playing with it for the, the minute that I've been playing around with it I could really feel it's got some heat and it's 72 degrees in here so it's not extremely cool in here but it's not really hot in here either but I could really feel that there's a little bit of heat in it like it's not hot like I can't like you know have to put it down type hot but it is um a little bit warmer than what it was when i first started this video and i'm almost 13 minutes into it right now so um but the ui is the only thing i have uh, an issue with um i'm just not a big fan of it but again maybe it won't bother you as, as much as it bothers me um i like that it has memory mode don't get me wrong you turn it on it goes on from you know the last uh, you know um, light setting that you had it on that's that's fine I like that I like that as a, a memory um, but other than that I don't like the UI that much it's not even on the tactical it's gonna be the same you know if I switch to the tactical um, but that's it that's the flashlight uh, it will have uh, part two coming up tomorrow of this flashlight at uh, at night in the in the darkness so we'll see what it does in the darkness and um the battery is fully charged i fully charged it uh last night until this morning so it's got a full battery charge on it and uh we'll see what this thing can do in the the, the darkness but i thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe if you have not if you have any questions please comment it down below and i will try to respond and answer your questions as best as i can with my ability uh, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, and uh, stay tuned. Bye.